When cutting glass tubing, the way that you want to do it is with the edge of the triangular file and you want to apply direct pressure straight down and make one deep gouge. Now that gouge is going to be a weak spot. Now in order to break the glass tubing, hold the gouge that you just made away from yourself, put your thumbs behind it, and put, apply light pressure like you're breaking a pencil. And what you get is a fairly clean edge, but that edge is very sharp. And if you compare it with this piece, you may be able to see that the piece we just cut has a sharp edge to it, whereas this one, which has been fire polished, is more rounded off. So the next step is to fire polish. When you fire polish your, the end of your cut glass tubing, you want to hold it on a 45 degree angle at the hottest part of the flame, which is the tip of the inner blue cone and you want to constantly rotate it until as you take it out and you look at it you see that the edges are rounded off for that fire polished end. All right, when you're heating for a glass bend you want to position the glass right above the tip of that inner blue cone and constantly twist it to distribute the heat evenly. The longer you heat the glass will begin to soften and you will actually see the glass start to sag a little bit. When you first start to notice that sagging, heat it a little bit longer. And then if you take it out of the heat and you can actually let gravity do the bend for you. And then when you're ready to let it cool, just set it down on an insulating pad and use the back of your hand above the glass to test to see if it's still hot. And usually it's going to take a couple of minutes before it's safe to touch. Now another type of bend is one where you can manually guide the glass instead of letting gravity alone do the work. So again you start by heating the glass tubing at the spot where you want the bend to occur and you watch for it to start to weaken, soften, and sag. And when you see that starting to happen then you can take the tongs in one hand and you can guide the bend into the proper orientation. And you can also let gravity do some of the work as well. All right. And then a few seconds outside of the flame in the cool air it will harden sufficiently and again set it on the insulating pad to cool until it's safe to touch.